Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets for Friday session the 13th of May 2016. Please do visit tradesignal.com and download the uh, latest app from the App Store, uh, Apple App Store and the Google Play Store and uh, receive signals and market updates from leading providers. Okay, now in terms of uh, this uh, morning's price action, we certainly remain weak. Asian markets down overnight, your European markets are negative except the German DAX, which is booking the trend. And you have the uh, uh, the actual CAC and the, and the Euro, Euro stock certainly under pressure as well. Now, that has to uh, do with the uh, fact that uh, the concerns over retail sales and growth, etc., certainly seem to be dominating. Now, we had GAP obviously missing expectations, JC Penny as well. Uh, I think who have we got today? We've got. Um, I thought he Macy's missing and uh, JC Penny just missed now. Uh, the latest article that I read, JC Penny is tanking after a terrible sales outlook. So certainly um, not looking good in terms of retail sales. Now the focus for U.S. markets at this current juncture will be uh, U.S. data. So we have uh, retail sales, PPI, and consumer sentiment and business inventories baker hughes rig count then we have a speech from uh, mr feb member mr williams okay now that that will be interesting as well whether he's hawkish or dovish now we've had mr rosengren overnight certainly uh, indicating hawkish although miss yellen did state that she um, w was entertaining the possibility of negative rates so again that certainly is a potential dollar negative now let's just bring up the chart of the dollar index see exactly where we stand Okay, it's the US dollar at the moment, certainly uh, into resistance. Okay, uh, on a 60 minute chart, let's just bring a 24 hour chart here. Get a better in. Okay, so you can certainly see in the daily chart you are into resistance. Sixty minute chart, uh, certainly you have a double top formation here, so no real catalyst to propel the US dollar higher at the moment. So therefore, one would presume <coughs> that. Uh, this double top certainly would hold for now. So again, like I said, all focus remains on the uh, the actual uh, U.S. economic data that is shortly out in the next 20 minutes. Okay, now let's have a look at the actual markets themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. You have the the Nasdaq. Okay, let's bring up the, the Nasdaq for you. The daily chart, of the Nasdaq. You had a potential bottoming tail yesterday, so you're certainly holding the support around the uh, 4310, 4300 level. Okay, uh, 60 minute chart, the Nasdaq at the moment. <clears throat> I, I'm not expecting that, that low to be tested at 4285. That certainly would be uh, very strange and if it were to occur. I'm certainly not expecting that at all. Okay, so in terms of the uh, the NASDAQ itself on the 60-minute uh, chart, you certainly have made a higher low, so that certainly is a positive sign. Looking for a re retracement here. Obviously, we currently have fallen as low as, uh, as 4320 on the NASDAQ, so uh, I am expecting that pivot low to hold. And looking for a higher high, okay. We do have multiple unfilled gaps above that, so you need to uh, potentially close. Now, the 10 minute chart, the NASDAQ itself, you certainly have support around that 4315 zone. So, if we do obviously move lower, that certainly is a zone to watch, okay. For now, uh, for the uh, the actual NASDAQ itself, oh, you certainly have resistance here. Previous support equals resistance at the 4330 zone. Really, if we break that, then obviously we test that 4315. We, we failed 4315, then you are looking at 4280 again. Uh, do I expect 4280? No. Okay. Uh, am I biased in saying that? Yes, to a large extent, because I am uh, biased long in the market at present, but uh, I'm not expecting that. Now, mainly due to the fact that you have the biotechs. If I bring up the biotech stocks for you, certainly have been flushed and now into potential support on the biotechs. On the daily chart and the semicons as well. If I just show you the semiconductors, okay. So SMH, here we go. So we're going to the daily chart, the semicons, and even that is obviously into uh, gap fill support. So certainly, from my perspective, I'm not expecting um, a flush on the Nasdaq. Uh, certainly, you are, you are coming into gap fill support, and therefore, you would, uh, one would expect a bounce, especially with the Euro USD and our uh, languishing at the 1.1350 zone, and obviously the. Uh, USD JP by what got back at 109. Okay, those two factors together. Bringing up the S&P 500, let's just bring that up and uh, observe the uh, daily chart. There is a concern with regards to a H&S formation. So again, if uh, retail sales are pretty dismal, they may that may well trigger this H&S 
The 60 minute chart at the moment is holding that to pivot low at 2054 and I'm expecting that to hold. If that fails, then obviously we go back to 2040. Now we do have a resistance zone at 2100 that certainly needs to be checked. So again, keep an eye on that. The resistance zone has held at 2083, okay? 10 minute chart of the S&P 500. Again, your support zones are going to be back at 2054, which we are currently at present. So looking for a bounce at this juncture, okay? for the S&P 500 back up to that 2070, 2060 zone. If I cross verify the uh, S&P 500 with the uh, Russell, let's just confirm this. Okay, let's go to the Russell. Okay, I share is Russell. Okay, so we can bring up the Russell 3000, that should certainly be fine. The daily chart on the Russell itself, again, you are looking at uh, consolidating here. The only concern, again, like I said, is a potential for a HMS formation, and uh, you are certainly coiling up on a, uh, on a, on a, a so we say, symmetrical wedge type formation. So, again, certainly keep an eye out for there. 60 minute chart at the moment, it was inside bar yesterday, so that certainly bodes well going into today. Okay, you certainly have closed that gap here ever since then, obviously, we found weakness. But having said that, like uh, if uh, the um, if the retail sales certainly come in as a Goldilocks number, then that should help the uh, the actual market itself. If the retail sales come in strong, then you are looking at a dollar rally, and uh, that will obviously cause the uh, the actual uh, Aussie Kiwi to fall and the Euro to fall, and that may well propel the uh, markets even higher. So again, certainly take that into consideration. Okay, for now. Right, so the uh, actual S uh, Russell 3000 at the moment inside bar, and it will be interesting to see how it trades today. Pivot low is at 120, so again, if that breaks, then you are looking at weakness in the uh, the S&P 500 too. Now, the daily chart of the uh, uh, Russell 2000, which obviously is a key uh, uh, barometer for strength, uh, is certainly sideways. 60-minute chart at the moment, you've certainly held double bottom, so looking for a potential thrust higher. That bottoming tail should hold, given the fact that we put that in yesterday at the start of the day. I am looking for that bottoming tail to hold, and then uh, we can certainly make an attack on that unfilled gap above. 10 minute chart, the Russell 2000. Again, if you do retest at 93.6 level, that is considered support, and you will look to uh, potentially be bouncing from there. Okay, so certainly a pivot low is in, and looking for further new highs, especially in the back of uh, a weaker, potentially um, weaker commodities, which in turn will help. The, uh, the actual price of oil to uh, certainly break higher as well. Keep an eye on USDJPY, that will be crucial. So all eyes on retail sales, and let's see how the markets react to retail sales and the inflation data, which is a PPI. Okay, I wish you the very best for the uh, next 10 to 15 minutes of trading, especially with retail sales vol and near volatility that's expected. Special, please, please visit CFDs.com, the specialist in spread breaking and CFD brokerage, and you can gain up to a 25% cash bonus offer. Goodbye now.